One of the things the wicked in this world today need to be reminded about, need to be warned about, is that they will stand before righteous God. Today, the railing, the blaspheming, the wickedness of the godless today, it's frightening. And it is not frightening because of what they say against God or against Jesus or against Christ's church. It's frightening because of the callous, cavalier perspective they have that they think God will never judge them, my friend, and judgment will happen to them. And it's a terrible thing. And if they're lost, their judgment is eternal. And it's eternal damnation. And it's burning forever in the lake of fire. And it's having God's wrath in His face against you in a way that will never change. Friend, that's frightening. And we as believers ought to say, God, we want judgment. We want justice. But we also want the lost to come to Jesus Christ. Verse 9, the Scripture says these individuals will be in verse 8, in flaming fire, verse 9, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Uh, there, in every, in every decade, are individuals who teach that hell isn't, and, and the lake of fire aren't eternal places, they're not real places, and that they're not forever, and that people cease to exist, and so forth. My friend, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 teaches that there's an eternal hell. In verse 8, we see flaming fire of vengeance. In verse 9, we see everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Literally, the banishment from God's face. The banishment from the glory of God where individuals who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ will spend eternity forever with the Lord. These individuals will spend eternity in flaming fire and away from the Lord. Forever separated from God. And friend, that's a terrible thing. It's a real thing. If you're here this evening and you're playing games with eternity and you're religious, listen, there are people that darken the doors of the church house and they love to listen to preachers that, uh, that uh, undermine the gospel. They love Joel Osteen's and false teachers of the ilk of Joel Osteen who would teach that you know there aren't absolutes and that there isn't absolute truth and that there isn't a God who is... Uh, that there isn't, that isn't absolute doctrine, there isn't absolute eternal judgment. And my friend, you're in great danger. You're in great danger. If you follow after those individuals, you'll spend eternity in flaming fire. And then you ought to be afraid. You ought to know that you've called on the name of the Lord to be saved. You ought to know that you've trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior. And that you believe in a God who is not only a merciful God who judged His Son in your place, but a God who will judge those who reject His Son, Jesus. My friend, you're not good. You're not good. You may have always in your mind thought you love Jesus or always been open to the church, but my friend, your good is nothing but religion. And the Bible says that righteousness, that kind of religion, is filthy rags. And you're not good. And you're wicked. And God's going to judge you. And you ought to be very afraid. And if I were to lead you into thinking otherwise, if I were to be careless in begging you to examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, to know whether or not you've trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, my friend, there'd be blood on my hands. Judgment is real. Judgment is eternal. Judgment is inevitable. And it is separation eternally from the face of holy God in flaming fire. And you ought to be afraid if you're not saved.